Is that still one of the ones for you? With your Mercury? Yeah. You know what's crazy? I was actually just thinking about it um, not too long ago. Um, I was looking up uh, clips of it, and um, you know what? It's, uh, it hasn't fallen out. It hasn't fallen out of the top ten yet. I mean, top five. Sorry, it hasn't fallen out of the top five. <laughs> but. going on people it's your boy coop and it's coop on instagram i got the homies cd chloe's dad and gunpla tesseract austin it's wednesday it's three o'clock or whatever day you're watching this that means a new fresh episode of the undergated podcast presented to you by the undergated network is out we welcome all the new listeners appreciate all the people on spotify that's been hitting us up too we appreciate y'all as well and like I said, we just gonna chill. We're gonna talk some talk. We got um the 30th anniversary of G Gundam was announced, right? We got some it was Operation Meteor Day last weekend and sat back and watched some Gundam Wing and we just chill, man. We just chill. So hope y'all enjoy. Hope everybody who listens appreciates this episode. If you missed last week's episode, it was kind of a wrap up of what we talked about two weeks ago. And we talked about what Bandai can do. But if you missed last week's episode, this is what you missed. You buy for like $200 or 100 and some odd dollars. Yeah. Like those could stay. Yeah. I don't think that's made by Bandai though. I think it's made by somebody else. Right. Those are, in my opinion, what you should be buying if you like Conrad. Right. <laughs> Not yeah. really the kids. So, well, I don't know, man. I mean, you got to think about it. Like, then Bandai be a one trick pony. I, I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah. That is a dangerous and that is what you miss. So make sure y'all check out last week's episode and jump in on that conversation. Bandai could do a whole lot to catch up to these third party kids, and we want to know what y'all would think. But of course, as always, before we get started, fellas, as always, we want to do a mental health check. People that's out there listening, let us know in the comments below. We always start off with the greetings. This is the greatest mm. man. How everybody's been, Austin, bro. How's your week been, man? Yeah, it was going actually pretty okay until tonight. Till tonight, <laughs> but we'll get into what's cooking and why that is. Yeah. But besides that, uh, things were going pretty okay. Um, I uh, decided to make a concerted effort to um, uh, tell people how much I appreciate them a little bit more often, uh, go, especially man. people I work with. Just uh. Because uh, I was listening to um, uh, just some uh, words of inspiration and stuff like that. And uh, just uh, also just folk tales and, you know, just interesting people. They were having, you know, TED Talks, speaks, and, and just sitting around talking. And I remember one of the things that uh, the guy said that kind of struck a chord with me was that um, people really need to be known how appreciated they are. Because often people will underestimate how much of an impact they have in everyday life. I, I think one another quote was, um, um, you should never underestimate the hole you will leave behind if you leave. So mm -hmm. it, it was, deep. I was, yeah, that was, that was a pretty good one. So I'm like, all right, cool. So yeah. I decided, I was like, you know what? I should go around and tell people how much I appreciate them. So I was going around, <laughs> I was going around and tell my coworkers right. like, Hey, I appreciate you, man. I, yeah, I just want to let you know that I appreciate you. I think everyone around here appreciates you and, um, you're doing a great job. And, um, that goes a yeah, long no, ways too, man. Yeah, 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 it goes a long way. So, yeah, and I, um, I, I saw one employee, act, one one of my coworkers, literally did just kind of brighten his day. So, um, that's what's up, man. So, glad that that's going on. I decided to make a concerted effort to that. Uh, I wish I could tell the the primer that I was using. I appreciate it, but it clearly I don't. <laughs> um, TD, go ahead. Oh, once again, I just gotta, yeah. gotta see. I gotta check, man. Maybe my messages didn't come through. All right, check it. Make sure that mess that appreciation message didn't come to me. Well, <laughs> well, your your all, your two are coming at the end of the show usually when we say goodbye. Oh, thanks, man. I was gonna save that oh. for a surprise. But <laughs> we, we, want we get the greedy, live if you want your greedy one now, <laughs> hey Cooper, I appreciate how you can't take hints. <laughs> I appreciate how you can't wait. <laughs> Damn. Oh Doing man, great, we appreciate. Thanks, great. man. Thanks. Man. <laughs> you can hold mine, Austin. Thanks. Oh, hold it. Appreciate you sure, you. CD. You sure you don't want yeah, it now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm in the mood. Are you sure? Okay. I'm really <laughs> appreciative now, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm totally in the mood off. to give them now. Yeah. I'm good. How man. was your day, I'm CD? Good. 
not too bad. As you guys can hear, it's <laughs> officially springtime, so it's allergy time. So I sound like I'm dying. Stuffy, coffee, all that good stuff. Um, besides that, it was a pretty chill weekend. We didn't do much to stay in the house. Caught some basketball games with the fam. Just relax, kick their feet up. Can't complain. Work is working. So yeah, that? that's about it. That's, that's likewise, cool. man. Rinse, wash, and repeat. Rinse, wash, and repeat for me, man. Um, just trying to get it, trying to watch some TV. Going, just going back and chilling. Saturday seemed like a blur. Uh, went to Trilogy on Saturday, trying to find where Austin find these damn books at in Trilogy. Have no, no way of. He's yeah. got none. He, he's got, I was calling him up. He said he's going to order a lot more because of me and this other guy that comes in to buy him. He wasn't talking about you. That's I thought he was me. talking about you. That's not me. It was, <laughs> yeah, it was a different guy. But apparently he's like, yeah, dude, I, every time I come in, they just sell out either you or him because I only order two or three and they sell out mm. and I've been making money. So, um, but I know I, I have a direct line with him. He gave me his number. I've been calling him up. Asking him oh, he got there. the plugs. Mm, he got, yeah. 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 Well, no, once you get stuff in, I'll hit you up. <laughs> I got you. Appreciate it. Yeah, after it's all gone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I wish you, man. Uh, Coop, man, I'll tell you, he man. Just you just, it. you just missed it, brother. Hey, man, give me uh, that magazine. <laughs> he, he just walked out of the store, Coop. Man, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But you know what? You know what, bro? I hope you appreciate this call. And I hope... <laughs> if anything, <laughs> if right? anything, yeah, you at least but appreciate nah, this. But no, nah, um, it was chill. It was chill. Oh, uh, that's about it. Let us know in the comments below how's y'all week been. We get a lot of we appreciate everybody who comments. We get a lot of people that let us know about mm-hmm. how their week's been. So glad to make the house check is working through. Next up, this is really light. It's a light week, fellas. And Ooh. building and breaking down that backlog. For me, no, I don't think anything. Anything came in. Um one two things came in i want to say but I, that's kind of like coop's corner that's like my haul for coop's corner for real so make sure y'all check that out that comes out if you're watching this on wednesday that comes out tomorrow 5 30. that's yeah. it that's, that's all good. i got bro uh strike out man i got <laughs> jack diddly squat wow um, i I've been I've been res- my my bank account is on lockdown. I've lost my cr- my cards. They've just <laughs> decided to take off. And um, some guy named Austin locked his account and said, "Don't make me spend any money." So the bank <laughs> now uh, going around sniping down my receipts. You know, it's like that. I don't so, know how many yeah, months yeah. straight we went with the uh, uh, hauls. That's crazy. Well, well, you- it's been a few weeks. <laughs> Right. No, no, we we did get something. I think last time we got P Bandai shipments in. Yeah, we got some P. Yeah, oh, no, that was P-Bandai. a week before. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We got it. Oh wait, pretty heavy. It's been pretty heavy. Yeah, that's time. Oh well, no, I bit, I did buy the Build Strike Master Grade last week. Yeah, last so that's week. one whole. Report. So that was that. Yeah. And I did buy yeah. another. I am gonna buy another Strike. So I have to buy another Duel as well. So that's gonna be fun. <coughs> lobby lobby. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if only yeah. I like saving money. That's it. <laughs> well, damn. So we're um, 0 for 2 over here. CD, what you gonna do, man? Feels like, feels like it's like the down. third quarter. Like like the third quarter, midway through the game. It's like we just got out of halftime. Like I'm talking about like product. It's not that the score is still zero zero. Yeah, Everyone in the not... stadium is wondering why they bought tickets. It's not the they same. know what happens every year. It's like it's like going to a Jackson. It's like going to a Carolina Panther game. Like yeah. you know, you're like one of the only fans in the stadium, and you look around like, right. what, is, what am I doing with my life? We're what waiting for these new kits to come out. That's probably like they, they June, had ten dollar ticket for them. July, August. Mm. All these, yeah, all the kits they're coming out. April, you know, we're all waiting for the summer. That's probably like our next yeah. Week. By the way, I've changed Both my mind on the RG 2.0. By the way, I don't know if you guys knew the the 2.0. I I, I am gonna buy it. I know. I know. I no, no one else. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. <coughs> to really kill it. But continue, CD. Go ahead. Oh damn, to ridicule it. You're gonna give a, yeah. a, a review on it. Just oh okay. Well, oh yeah. No, I'm just gonna be a terrible reviewer. I did get one kid in. Another <laughs> a double up. Um, another GM Spartan from across the pond. Um, this is to go with my last bit of my IPMS project, so stay tuned as I work on this. Um, but yeah, one's for the backlog, so it'll stay 
which is this one, but the other one I've already cut into. So, CD, um, is it just me, or have you noticed that everybody's buying Spartans recently, yeah. or everyone's making Spartans? Have you seen like three or it's four? Like, it's like a lot of today? people. Yeah. yeah, it's like a lot of people making Spartans all of a sudden. What? Where did that come from? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, big dog. I keep from thinking, you, I, 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 nah. No, I don't want to. No, nah, I didn't want to say anything. Oh. But since you brought it up, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I made I made mine. I came out. Everyone was saying, "Oh, oh, Austin, oh, Austin, oh," and now all of a sudden, Instagram Spartan right? time. Everybody, Everybody three hundred. Hey. Yeah, right. or it might so, be that that matrix effect where you notice it once and then you just see it everywhere. <laughs> the grand yeah, theft that's what it's you really get in the car. Like, right. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all I got as far as kits. I did grab a couple books. Um, this is Iron Gold book four to the other three I read of the Red Rising series. So the first three are the first part of the series, and he has three more books. So it's four, five, and six, and he's working on the seventh, which is the last one in the series. So he must be a pretty good writer because everyone keeps being um, New York Times by so many books. So, oh, yeah. And it's turned into a series. <clears throat> he was talking about that uh, last week. So stay tuned, like Red a, Rising. Like a TV series or just a book series? TV series, oh, like a TV series. Oh snap! Oh snap! Yeah. Okay. So, and this new book good. is Iron Gold. This is Iron Gold by so, who? This is by Pierce Brown, Seattleite, so mm, Northwest mm. guy. Just like the dude from Dune, I believe he was from Tacoma. I think. Oh Dune. really? Yeah. Really? There's huh. a lot of guys. I I, I yeah. don't see the. I I don't see the hype behind Dune. Dune uh, is it? it Dune is from an old like it's an old show movie, right? It's an old Dune book. Is Dune's an old, old books. book. It was a book, yeah. As a matter of fact, it was like it was made by a guy who I think Tolkien was making Iron Lord of the Rings around the same time, but they mm-hmm. they apparently didn't like each other. Um, but no, mm-hmm. it's a book, yeah. First, yeah, the, okay. the old movie's pretty bad, but it, it was trying to abbreviate like three and a half books in one movie, right, which in is, one, place. yeah, which is insane. So, there's good, there's no old like 1980s movie of Dune. There, there is there, there okay. is it's, it's it's bad it's a single movie yeah. but it tries to tell the story of three books and now the lore mm. of dune though if you go into like the lore of it it's actually really fascinating um yeah, like uh, yeah it's really good like not to spoil anything anybody but atreides like like the story continues for like hundreds of years like yeah he has it's a not son, just a mm-hmm. grandkids is yeah. it almost like a thousand years is it like the same realm as star wars Sci-fi, that, sci-fi, that fantasy. galactic yeah. sci-fi though, Star Wars, Star Trek type of. Well, it's almost you, like you guerrilla can... warfare, like for the first mm. three. It's like they're not really even in space, but like yeah, there's a galactic aspect to it. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's sci-fi it's... fantasy. It, it's a mm-hmm. sci-fi fantasy um, genre, so it's not just sci-fi like like Star Trek is. It's pure mm. sci-fi. Sci-fi fantasy is Star Wars, Dune, something where it's actually a fairy tale. It's just told from a futuristic sci-fi vantage point. Gotcha. Okay, I'm tracking now. I'm tracking. Hmm. Right. If you want to re- get into oh. it, because I got some books for you, don't? Uh, it's good. It's a good series. It, the books have always been better, did, in my opinion. I did grab one more. Uh, this is Cyber Shogun Revolution. Um, it's the third book to the books I really didn't want to read, but since it's the third book, I figured I was going to read it. It's the third book to the U.S. and Japan. Um, it's about a alternative mm. timeline where Japan wins the war with mechs. So, it's another one crazy base they're fighting in seattle i don't know something about seattle every movie every show every book i read they talk about seattle it's moody it's got the atmosphere <laughs> sure. right, space man. needle yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does have my light vampires <laughs> Look, see there mm-hmm. you go but that's that's it for me it's just light week well, well let us know in the comments below what y'all picked up anything recent any new kits old kits figures books statues let us know down in the comments below next up austin kind of touched on this earlier i'm gonna let i'm gonna, I'm gonna let austin air out man no, uh, we'll give me see. a minute give me a minute you we'll guys go ahead and yeah and, we're, and what we're talking about now is what's cooking he's fuming <laughs> it's cheesy you got anything cooking coop yeah um I did drop some pictures uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop some. I wanna drop some of these. Well, if probably by the time this episode comes out, I'll have more photos on the undergated. Because, like I said, I'm gonna try to put like all my Gundam stuff on the undergated page and all my 
toy photography stuff on my Coop's Corner. So, uh, hit this with gloss already. And like everybody knows, we've been working on a Dari blade. So, here it is right now. Mm. Well, majority Tony, of the decals that's... done. You see a display yeah. decal right across that shit. That shit sponsor. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> so not that bad. The first time I seen <clears throat> G reworks, I had to go on new type and use them as the manual because the pitch some pictures on G reworks had like the 514, like mm -hmm. of the because obviously the manual is not gonna have it as a high grade. And I just mm -hmm. now thought about that because we kind of when we do the G rework for high grades, if it's not something I already know where it is, like the granddaddy or a wing zero, right? Like there's no guide, which sucks. So and, and, and with the G reworks, that's the newer ones that come out. They do that one, two, three. A lot of the yeah. older ones, they didn't even have that. You just had to look at the yeah. picture and match that what was you it. Got with that. Exactly. Yeah. Um and G rework stood up today, man. Not a whole lot of on the fingers. Um not a whole lot left on the tweezers or anything like that when I was moving it around. A couple of purple, a couple of white. Yeah. Now the hard part is going to try to figure out since it's the Dari Blade version 2 or upgraded parts, the P Bandai one. The hard part is going to be trying to figure out on the binders and the thrusters where to put the decals because there's, Just, those are two different gotta pieces. Get freaky, my brother. You gotta get creative. Yeah. Got it. But you know, like, those are kind of fit for the standard issue. Like if you're like a square or some shit. Yeah. It's like an L. And like, exactly. Shooter. So like you said, you got to get creative. Um, and I'm also working on the uh, Blue Destiny. Got that in the works right now. Body. All the blues are painted and the feet are painted. So I'm, I did something different with the feet. It comes with that stock, kind of stock red feet. Um, like the ground type, but I changed it up to give it that blue destiny type of feel. But those are the two things I've been working on. We've got an IPMS show this weekend uh, up in Fairfax. So if you're in the Fairfax area, come out, support, try to get more Gundams on the table. I think it's at Fairfax High School. We'll share more of it on the like in the stories and stuff. So make sure you check it out. Yeah. CD. All right. Um, you, what you got? Yeah, as Cooper's just finishing off with the blue destiny mine's up in the glass right here actually i'll pull this out uh Ooh. so it is done pictures are up it's been top Those coated i actually need good, to go man. i need to go back and redo some dog shout out to cobra bob because if we're gonna do it we're gonna go all the way he's he spotted some seams that i, I could have easily just closed here in the back i don't know if you can really see it. it's like i'm picking up on the camera but uh, right there yeah i see it yeah so yeah and that backpack i'm gonna part, go back right? i was thinking the same yeah. thing i was so, thinking the same thing <laughs> coop you haven't paid yours yet right so just go I, ahead and close actually, it up, dog. i just actually i didn't paint them i primed them so All either right, way ahead, that's go, good go ahead and go ahead and seal them up because they do i mean you can definitely pose them in the pictures where you can't tell but for a nice front on pick you can see it and plus yeah, we're gonna put them yeah, on the table I figured. So go yeah. ahead and seal them up. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and redo those. But the main body was done. Uh, like Austin said, like it's a it's an okay kit. But once you get like the paint, the decals, and like really give it all, rescribe some parts. It's a really nice looking kit, honestly. Especially for the first two. Especially if, I think that if I could be wrong, I'm gonna assume that th the third one is probably everybody's favorite. Even when you're talking Blue Destiny in the Gundam world, right? I don't think anybody would say Gun the, the Blue Destiny one is their is their overall aesthetically favorite one. Of the three? I, of the three. Is the the three is my favorite of the three. Two's mine. I, I I uh I hear so few things about the Blue Destiny. I have no idea what people think of them. I, I, I thought people didn't even know uh, didn't even care. Um but if I I guess you know if I had to pick one, I guess I would have to say the first one. So each one that we're building is yeah. oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's lit. <laughs> I did research on this. I like the free same pilot actually pilots this. He chases mm. oh chases the Blessing one out into space and like wounds it and blows up his E free. Then he comes back and steals this. Steals the uh, mm, which makes two. sense. I'm assuming that's his signature colorway. Yeah. So I've always liked it 
and now it makes sense. I, I really like the freak, so I'm like, that's lit. That's, that's really dope. Yeah. There you go. Do some and research. I am going to do, and I am going to do that with those two pieces, four pieces. I'm glad I didn't start painting yet. Yeah, go ahead. All and I did take was now. great segue. All I did was prime them. Oh wait, wait, wait! Right? Before before we get to Austin's gripe, oh. GM Spartan is almost done. Um, this is an amazing high grade. Honestly, this is probably one of the best high grades I've built. Like, it's really good. It's really good. And, and, <clears> and, <throat> I mean, Austin, I asked you this. My fault for cutting you off. That's Sorry. not an Origins frame, right? No, no, no. That is that is a new clean frame that they used. Yeah, the only, only parts it has maybe as a is a couple parts from the um, GM uh, sniper. GM sniper, sniper, yeah, yeah. But it's everything else, brand new. The, the, the has an ab crunch in there. It's it's. But I also have some gripes too. Personally, um, nippers. If you have bad nippers, you create double the work. My nippers have gone bad. They're officially can tell. Like it's giving me some janky cutting, so I need to mm. go get some new snip, some new snippers. Mm. There you Saves go. a lot of time with the sanding. So, hmm. and just to make sure that everybody know, like the 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 Spartan that CD is working on is not just because Austin. Austin, <laughs> um, just just because I didn't see Austin. Yeah. Let's uh, run that. Turn, right? people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, um, just so all y'all know, my blue destiny. Um, I finished it. Um, I put it up, and I did something different with that. Is that I used a different type of primer called a surface primer, Vallejo polystyrene primer. That's black. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say the one you were just loving about <laughs> two three episodes ago. Yeah, the one I was harping on um loving on uh yeah um it has betrayed me um horribly uh for those who go on my instagram page if you want go on to the perfect uh perfect strike i have a little story a uh, little stories collection so they won't be deleted they won't be forgotten so you can click on and just run through but you what you'll see is that i and i should have known better i should have known this but i, I didn't think of it at the time uh and uh, this is where I found out the polystyrene when it dries it dries like plastic and I've said this several times and it's almost the same as the plastic that you put on like your Thanksgiving dinner that clear plastic you can see through when you want to have leftovers left over well that plastic styrene is not very strong binding to the surface of the Gundam plastic or at least the strikes plastic um would you like and... to bring up your story sir I'm sorry oh go you. ahead yeah, yeah yeah go ahead go ahead yeah yeah and what happened is especially with curved edges and on things that you have masking tape on the binding is very weak so weak in fact that your fingernail dropping it or just pulling literally adhesive tape that's not even that strong really off will peel the adhesive off like it's all chunks is plastic and slowly peel off more and more and more so it won't just cake off like little tiny pieces it'll peel whole sections off and the thing is, is i didn't find this out until i finished masking the last piece and i as i was going i saw little chips here and there and i kept thinking ah that's fine i can paint it oh wow there's another chip oh that's it then there's more and more chips that show up and i'm like why is there so many chips showing up when i get to the last piece that i put on there like oh it won't matter and i'm like wait let me just readjust this tape real quick boom a, a, a whole chunk and i'm thinking no oh no oh no no, mm. no, 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 no. So all those pieces in that bucket, Austin? All those pieces. Every last one of them. Every single Yikes. last Yikes. one of them just chipped. Like li this is how bad it was. Is that the mm. is that the and that's the primer that chipped? This is the primer that 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 it's it's not bound onto the plastic very strong. At all, okay. it's just it's almost hovering over the plastic itself, and then you can I could take a heat gun and probably peel the whole thing off in one take, including the paint <laughs> that's sitting on top of it. And the paint is acrylic, so the paint's not very strong either. Yeah. So you just have two things that are completely two weak, weak ass paints, <laughs> weak ass paints laid on top of each other, and now the entire thing. It, I so I had I, I am now already in the process of sanding all those pieces down and I have to start mm. all over again with those pieces now the good thing is the legs the arms 
the torso, I don't know, the uh, the hit waist are pretty much done. There's no chipping there. And the reason why there's no chipping there is because I didn't mask any of those parts, except for one piece. But the, that I, I, I painted it differently. I actually used a different technique. Um, so that's probably why when I pulled the mask tape off that, that didn't chip. But so all those ones are safe. So I'm not stating, starting the whole kit from zero. Thankfully, I just uh, I finished the legs and uploaded the legs and the arms and they look great, but I might have to do the arms again. I think they're a little bit too dark. They're not the same magic of white. Um, but now I'm now I'm afraid. Now I'm not sure. Do I mask them? Do I take them all apart and just paint the white again completely? Like, how do I approach this? What's going on? What do I do? Um, yeah, and I have to and I was so close. I was trying to do this so I can go to the IPMS and I was on track. I would have finished on Friday, Friday evening if this didn't happen. So now I have to strip all those parts and I'm going to have to do it the long way. I'm going to have to prime it with old school rattle can spray. I have SMS black. So that way I know a, it's not going to peel or flake or anything like that. BS for the pre-shadowing and you then the, acrylic white. Mr. Hobby is for um, the uh, black, right? The one I gave you the rattle can. Yeah. Did yeah. I give you oh, no, 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 no. I didn't no, no, give you the black rattle can. Mm -mm, primer? No. No, no, no. You you gave me something else though, but it's not black rattle can primer. If it is black rattle can, I'll check and take a look because yeah, I, I, don't I, remember I thought I it. did. I thought it, it was the black rattle can primer, which will hopefully save you half a step. Right. No, I got nothing in here with black. No, I got nothing in here with black. Everything I got is to me. To me, to me, to me, to me, to me, to me. No, nope, not a single thing. Uh, all I got is this. So gonna go up. I'm gonna spray this out tonight, and then. SMS black it tomorrow and then paint the white in the oh my god ah so another problem that I had I was using Vallejo white and the reason why I'm not using SMS or lacquer or any other type of paints is because I remember something that Hopskin said which is said you need to try and broaden out as much paints different paints you can learn and try to master each one even if they give you problems because the goal is is to know all the paints inside and out so I'm just going to build kits with different type of paints and learn lessons. Well, the lesson I've learned is that the Vallejo white <laughs> sucks. Um, if it and, and it jammed my gun, my Mr. Hobby gun. So the big M effort. Oh, yeah. also, I found out because I had a call CD and said, CD, help, help me <laughs> help. Everything yeah. is messed up. I don't know why my gun jammed. I'm pushing it down now. Sprays coming out. The Vallejo is spitting out the gun like it's and it won't stop. It won't stop. Help someone yeah, help it me. Was, it's so <laughs> I found out that the Vallejo white had gotten into the chamber and jammed the entire gun from the front of the needle to the back of the spring. There was God. paint all the way through it. So I had to take the entire thing apart clean and and strip off and and i had to get in there with needles pliers i had to i had to do a makeshift tool with a small 0.0004 dremel right <laughs> stick it to a piece of 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 a of, 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 of a whatever that styrofoam thing is and make a like a makeshift curve tool so i can get into small edges got that clean God right damn, awesome. finished <coughs> it at got that cleaned and finished the rest of the paint at 12 12 30. now grant i need to get up at 4 30 in the morning so I said, F it. No, let's do it. And I decided to finish up priming all the pieces that I had to strip today. <laughs> so, so. So how long were you up what, to? So um, oh, I didn't sleep. So uh, what I have learned <laughs> from here is that Vallejo is, and you need a 0.5 airbrush to do it. It won't work on 0 0.3. 0 0.3 will work, but it's not that good. Um, the air front airbrushed flow th flow improver is not thinner. The flow improver is just there to prevent the paint from drying on the tip of the needle. That's it. And um, also, I've learned that uh, don't use it on Gundam stuff. So <laughs> there we go. Well, uh, I'm sorry. Hey. All right, on to the next one. SMS, bring it on, baby. <laughs> I guess we're going to the lacquer. Epic. What's the point? What's the point? To it. Straight to it. Let's do. Let's do guy notes. I got the lacquer thinner. Did your Did your hobby tell him Mr. Have Mr. Hobby? What's up? Did your hobby tell him carry Mr. Hobby? Nah. We just got the Mr. Color, Mr. Surfacer, like fifteen hundred in white and black and gray. Yeah. Or pink or something like that. We and then the rattle cans. 
they have a shit ton of Vallejo stuff that came in. They have a whole yeah. display. <laughs> whole display. Stay away from CD. Yeah, stay away from Nurse Lawson. CD. 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 I learned CD. my lesson. I, I know. <laughs> it was it was the Mac. The Mac one? The Mac color series they got? Yeah. And I was like, I oh, too. okay. It's pretty thin. I never trust a bottle. When a bottle is that small and it's pretty thin, it just makes you question. Like, this this can't be right. And I, I don't remember putting it in the gun, and it was magenta, and that junk didn't move. It looked like sludge, like I said, like a bubble set. <laughs> Bloop! It popped right in. The, I was like, Ivan Ooze. Oh, exactly. It looked like <laughs> Ivan Ooze, man. Bro, <laughs> yes. it, it needs a 0.5 needle. It needs to be at PSI 25 or higher, which I've never heard of. I, in my short time of airbrushing, I've been told 18 closest, to 20. The closest thing to that will probably be that Studio G paint. And that's it's, thick lacquer, though. But that's thick lacquer, and it, it's primeless. So I would imagine yeah. it need it, it needs extra air to push out. But yeah. that joint is thin. <laughs> El Paleo is thin, and it needs 25 psi and a 0.5 gun. I might as well just buy an <laughs> M9. Like yeah, right. the barrel needs to be that big. Like oh my god, it come out that quick. <laughs> I might as well just take my shot. It, it must be. <laughs> right. it, it really must be for like those tanks like you cover because a 0.5 is supposed to cover a lot of space right so yeah, that's, you that's must be paint, like you that. must be covering like the same color i mean you know what you green. need is the the water with the the siphon fed one this joint right here well, well i fixed the uh water too I found out what was wrong with it but yeah did you fix the, the needle siphon, yeah 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 so the needle wasn't bent um it was literally just i was using the psi was too low and the nozzle was too small so literally I, it was just the worst combination the vallejo could have gone through but I, apparently using the, the vallejo is the worst combination of anything you could have go through well, yeah, some people like I, love it I, I, hey <clears throat> hey hey coop coop i'm not one of them who i need you no know no no who who loves them give me names <laughs> please i need I names think, debate i think i forgot who's who told me they painted they used the whole thing because it's kid safe i forgot who told me oh that. well then nah 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 we done nah nah i ain't, I ain't, you ain't got no that. kids so you don't need yeah to i ain't worried about that worst i'm worried about homie. is the neighbor's dog damn <laughs> homie but <laughs> fido damn damn homie Hair I, don't, like, on it. I don't care like here's a new chew toy don't care <laughs> what's it called vallejo now granted vallejo. if anyone from vallejo is watching this <laughs> we love you i don't hate you or your product but i hate the process in which i need to use your product there you go yes. there you go I, and i've gotten so good now at thinning paints i could just do it by eyeball now. so i'm just gonna stick to acrylic and sms and lacquer i mean i don't, I don't really see a reason to go back to water-based acrylic that's already pre thinned at this point i'm just so used to i can actually thin it in the can now these i mean thin it in just buy eyeball and see it. It hasn't been wrong yet. So. Milk consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, milk consistency. Yeah, I just have to do the guy notes now. Um, which shout out to Gunpla Luke. He hit me up and said, uh, he's like, hey, yo, 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 brother. Um, uh, those guy notes are weird. <laughs> they are weird. Um, one point five is one one point five is the target. So right. gonna try yeah. hitting that up when I hit the girl kits again. So I do have a guy notes goal. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry were you using it <laughs> i haven't seen no, a gold kick from you in a long time long and by time. long time i mean ever <laughs> i was thinking about this the other day right i know and i don't like putting out disclaimers but i feel like some people might get offended so no offense to the people right but to, like what is y'all's like color you get you get tired of seeing on a kit like i, I like the turning I thought I would like it, especially getting into the hobby, right? Like getting into it. But the more I paint kits, the more I could kind of see myself not doing it unless it's meant to be gold. Is the like anything yellow gold? Mm. Like the V fin gold. Um I think camouflage one. The the mm -hmm. vents on the RX seventy eight, if you do that one gold, like I, I actually metallic gold. I actually do prefer yellow to gold. Whenever do people do mm -hmm. make gold key fence, I actually don't like that. Also yeah. the, I, I don't know. It just it seems a little bit much. Uh, gold yellow was fine. As yeah, a, it, it all depends on if it's if it's meant for it and if it's, if it has that yellowish tinge to it. I'm like, all right. 
but you like camo cd like you, you can't the you regular camo, camo. Right, right. sure right. but i'm tired of like i don't need to see like just odd ass color camos though the pink green and pink black and gray and then the blue and the yellow and the reds and then just stop not everything's mm. camo color mm. <laughs> everything's <laughs> camo colors. what about you austin i think black overuse of black I, I, I think, and, it, and what's crazy and sorry to cut you off that's just a hard thing to do mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah. You, have to, you have to like if you like i want to paint a whole gundam like custom color a black gundam that's tough Dude, what do you mean by black i mean oh, oh i mean or i'm also I, I agree with you coop that's actually one of the reasons i don't use pure black or straight black on anything like if i ever need a dark color that's close to black i'll use like nano midnight black blue. or some midnight blue or some offshoot of black yeah. because the black is absolute as absolute it once you get it that's, that's the only value it can be um but uh no i i, I think um i think seeing just overuse of black on a kit like uh, like people turn their new gundams into black new gundams black mm. with like purple or silver accents or gold and me personally i mean i'm not a fan of like the blitz gundam is all black and that one comes black yeah. I, i'm not a fan yeah. of that either so i, I don't know it's just I, it just seems like a such a you know i don't know any better word to say it than just a very basic simple color refit i mean it looks cool yeah. if you're but i mean I, I guess as i got older it looks cool if i was a kid like as i got older I, That's I, just, what I'm I need something more. I think as a, no, as I mean, a, I don't mean that they're. If if you like it, you like it. I yeah. I, hey, more it's power just, to you. It's, it's just, just not change of, anymore. Yeah, it's this yeah. change of pace. Like I remember when I started into it, I used to love gold. I was like, yo, I got a gold V fin and um, everything gold as yellow, all of it on the wing zero. I mean, the wing Gundam EW. I wanted to make that metallic gold. You know, change the yellow to gold. And the same thing for um candy paint like i do want to hit at least one size of b candy paint if anything before my life is over that one <laughs> astray that's painted with that candy blue green with the marble finish for the inner frame and the white and the gray around it looks absolutely stellar so i i, I do love candy paints when they're done in that kind of you know really not expected color mm -hmm. and way because you see candy red candy apple red candy blue candy um pink candy green right lime green yeah all the live long day but to see a candy fuchsia mixed with a marble yeah. pattern like and, and it's only used in, in certain spots it's not the whole kit it's just there to accent looking good restaurant. yeah i was just thinking what's a yeah, do y'all do anything? This is kind of off the cusp right here. Anything like savage? When I was doing, right? When I when I mean by anything savage, like savage yeah, crazy. Yeah, anything savage is wild, right? But when I think of savage, I I was doing this earlier. I was like, yo, this is this is kind of ridiculous, but it worked, right? Because shout out to the vice grip right here. Like, I love this. This is an essential. Somebody, I'm telling you, this is an essential tool. If you if and if you like, hey, I want to get something different from some nippers. Get a vice in some way, form, or fashion because it gives you an extra hand. And the reason why I said that is because I've sped through putting on decals by dipping two decals in the water at the same time. Like if it's like the opposite end, like you know, like the other side of yeah. like, like the hill. Like it'd be mm -hmm. like this side this way, this side this way, but you mm -hmm. just cut out the rectangle. It has both decals up there. I'll put both, put, dip them both in the water, slide one on, slide one off. Mm -hmm. I, I used to just fucking one by one put decals yeah. up there. So, oh, okay. That's I'm, it's not as savage as, as I thought. Do, do, you, but, do you ever cut all them out for like, if you find a leg, you get all the ones cut out yeah. for the leg you want, and then just dip them all, and then. Oh, sit, hell sit, 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 no. Because they don't have to be in the right area. You can always remove them. That's what I do. I just get it in the general place it's supposed to be, and then. That's why if I, I know I'm anyway. having six of these, like right here, I'll, I'll cut out all six and just put them in the water. And then I'll put them on, mm -hmm. once they're wet, I'll put them on the back of my hand. And I just go from my hand to the kit. Hand to yep. the kit. Hand yeah, no, no, the, it's still on the paper on his hand because the, the hand yeah. is still there. He, he's not taking the decal itself and putting oh, it on no. the paper <laughs> yeah. there. Just, yeah, just, I'm putting like, the blue paper right up on the kit. The blue paper, it's you, you slide, it's you slide it off. off. Yeah, you're not touching no air because, last, like, it'll be. 
wrapped around the I, no if i try to move it from here and that thing and curled up on its way over because of the once it curls there's no coming back from that shit. like yeah you can, you can try you to put it in the water be, it has to be it has to be at least warm water you you can put it in the water I, I only ever use cold water i actually never use warm water i always use savage cold. yeah and uh, but the only reason the reason why i do that is because the warm water it, it weakens the decal a little bit it, but oh, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to keep it off right i like to keep the decal as strong as humanly possible because my decal setter i use a different one i think than you guys that single bottle one is mm -hmm. so strong it melts paint so i have to essentially mm -hmm. make sure it's top coat and then use that and it's going to melt that decal regardless yeah, you got the one that's in the bottle with the red and blue no i got the one that's a black top that has a it's just a single white label and uh that's that it's looks like sus as hell <laughs> yeah <laughs> it looks sus as hell and, like i can't like i can never fly with it i know that for sure and <laughs> it, it, i think the, it the water should i do sometimes i don't use nippers like if i know i'm gonna have to sand it anyway i just pop it out with my fingers too oh yeah if if it's a light piece like that if it's a light piece i'll do that like a, yeah, a v fin not even a pc part i'm talking about no yeah like a v fin like an like arm piece came off Pop! yeah yeah, it, it, I, I, could, that's, that's, I know people that, probably, um, Andy, this is savage. He primes, paints all on a runner and just go back and touch up the sanding. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, Andy don't even prime. He just candy red over red. The, the crazy thing is, wild. too, though, he, he still takes care of nubs and then tries to re and then just repaints over the nubs sometimes. Yeah. So I'm just like, dude, you do a double work, but I, I bet mean, Andy's got the time, so he's yeah, here. Exactly. Shit. Or people Austin's that spraying um... into the water bottle. Oh yeah, that is wild. I still that got it. Wild. It's right, it's right over there. Yeah. It's full of more Vallejo yeah. paint, apparently now. Apparently, and apparently that little glass bowl I got, it, it's good. It works. I use it every day, right? I didn't think that the shit would just dry up. So I'm thinking like I gotta eventually pour out this fucking liquid and i open it up there was nothing in it i'm like <laughs> i don't know if that's good or bad man I'm like where's those fumes you know? going <laughs> I was gonna say, cause I, sometimes the mask don't make it in there oh yeah are we rocking, are we rocking it out yeah depend <laughs> yeah that is true i ain't gonna lie to you and then just, <laughs> th that's a savage thing I, I, i've been trying to make sure i'm not but yeah, if I'm it's trying. a little if it's a quick little like yeah like if it's the a v tiny thing, thing yeah you can hold your no mask Mm, I yeah. might not even hold my breath, man. Oh, okay, never mind. I might, I might be on the phone with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, never mind. I might, I might yeah. spray and look into the cloud and forget the uh, spray right there. Right. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Oh, <laughs> Lord. You know what messed me up one time? Not thinking, for real, in general, right? I went out there. Dude, didn't have the air proof on. Didn't have the door <laughs> open. Man, I got hit with a dead guard lacquer cloud. I said, damn, that bitch got oxide a bite to it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Right. laughs> um, I was, no, I was doing that the other night. I was like, damn, my head's hurting. I said, oh, I don't got no mask. I'm going. Oh, yeah. That's how Dude. I know I've been paying too much when I have the headache. Dude, I always got the mask on, man. I, I'm too afraid, man. I'm too afraid of what happened. Because I did almost knock myself out one time when I just started painting. And I went outside and, and I, I was spray painting in 22 degree weather. And I was trying to this figure out similar. why the yeah I was trying to figure out why the silver you know the gold actually yeah the gold I was putting on the freedom was not like adhering perfectly and I got this close right with the rattle can and just and like so when I came in I had a gold face and I was like ma I don't feel too good you know what I'm saying I'm telling you right now you don't look too good either, you gotta look yeah, at that right. piece and you just that's just being real we ain't gonna keep we gonna keep it funky with y'all because sometimes we human too sometimes we're, we're human too we're not sometimes we're human we're human all the time sometimes we forget <laughs> to hey sometimes i'm not <laughs> so, sometimes he's not human y'all paint a lot on a runner no 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 no. we paint all kits we paint no, all our we kits, paint our so kits. We, the, yeah. the runner is solely exists to be cut out of that's it correct savage is thinking uh the panel honor is not going to do you wrong but it still does Oh yeah, bro. Panel that that panel line, man. You got to be careful what plastic you're using. I've seen that <laughs> shit literally split a kit in half, like just down the middle. And I'm, I'm hoping over. this makes it to IPMS because I, I used it on there, and I always tell myself I'm never gonna use it, and then I use it, and then something breaks. So I don't know why. I, I want to on this Dari blade because I feel like it'd be so quick. Like I'd be like, oh. 
Do, do you guys think it, there's like some type of weird christening with your best kits that there's always something that goes oh, horribly yeah. wrong with it? Because I'll, I'll say this: your all my best kits. builds, all my best builds, I've either dropped or something has gone horribly Lost wrong. Oh, and yeah. ev and everything with this strike was going really fine, really smoothly, and kind of awkwardly too smooth. Too and smooth. then tonight, and I, now I know it's going to be a good kit. <laughs> if yeah. I don't lose a piece, I'm like something's not right. I might not paint it right, right. right. Mm -hmm. Question for you, Austin, on that primer though. Mm. I wonder if with that primer, you have to do what everybody like what Tom does. Like he'll scratch and like sand Buff the whole up. piece. He'll like he'll like make it a like abrasive. So for mm -hmm. the paint, and Andy says, "Oh, it makes the paint stick better." I wonder mm -hmm. if you have to make that abrasive. Like it can't so, sit on a smooth plastic. So that's a very interesting um, thing you said. I actually did sand all these pieces down because the pieces that I've actually painted that I need the multicolor part for are all scribed. So they've all mm. been they've all been uh, sanded down with 400, 800, and then a thousand grit um, sand sanding sticks. So all the stuff I put it on was already abrasive, and I figured that that was actually a plus. I was like, okay, it's already because on the Destiny I didn't really sand a lot. And the whole thing this everything's sanded so mm. i was like oh this will work and then seeing the paint just literally peel off like a like it was like it was melted rubber like yeah. just lifting up and just like Oof. that like just lifting off the off the thing and i was Make like all right like my fucking shit dog. <laughs> mm. like this is literally a, the symbiote right just <laughs> like coming off my kit and i was all right uh, uh, uh. But hey, you know, you got to have something wrong before something goes right. So you say that again, man. You say that again. <laughs> let us know in the comments below what's the most savage thing y'all do. And let's know what color, like, what's something about, because we, I said gold and candy paint red, like, depends on the size it'd be. Um, and Austin said the black, CD said the camouflage. What's something you're like, ah, uh, just not my, it's, again, just not my cup of tea. Yeah, something, something that, yeah, you're just not into. You feel maybe yeah. overused. Yeah. So let us know in the comments below. Next, what's new? What we have coming up in the Gumpla community. Shout out to Gumpla Nerd. We want to make sure that if they're ever listening, that they don't feel like they're getting gypped and robbed. We appreciate <laughs> it. First up. Kind of right into Austin's Austin's house. We have a P Bandai 30 Minute Sisters TC Replico Prone. Is that a bird? Right. That what is, is this, Austin? Um, that Condor? is um that is a monstrosity. Um I believe she's supposed to ride it, but it looks like it's big bird that lost uh, too much weight. And oh no, yeah. <laughs> they yeah. gave it the eyes. <laughs> And they gave you know, it the gun. friendly bird the guns. Guns. I I do like the girl though. It's a Garu. Yeah. So she's blonde with tan skin. So she is very nice. Actually, I even like the fact they gave her a scarf. So you can actually hide the neck yeah. joint. But but the bird looks absolutely dumb. I, I'll take the girl. I just don't want the bird. You can keep the bird. They they could have skipped that. Scarf. Oh, they even gave her glasses, which is dope. Yeah, that is cool. Like goggles. Oh. That is dope. Because somebody somebody could freak. I know it's a girl, but somebody could freak this into like a catcher kit, huh? You think they'll make 30 minute mission boys? Mm. Boy kits? I don't, I don't think I've ever they, seen a boy kit. They, yeah. Matter matter fact, have they made a model kit boy? No. Because with the knights think? coming, the 30 minute mission knights, I can see them just drop a dude's head sculpt maybe. You just put it on top of that. I mean, uh, they, they can make a tomboy. I'm yeah. yeah. I'm surprised that Bandai have hasn't got with by now because the reason I say this is shout out to Jimpy Zay. I was been watching his videos and just kind of like on re replay of all his older videos. It was like four years ago. Thirty minute missions came out four or five years ago. I thought it was way shorter than that. But um, oh, they've been around for a minute. Yeah, they've been around because he he was at Barnes and Nobles and he, and he looked at a thirty minute mission Alto. And it was mm -hmm. like four. I think the video was like four years ago. Um, 
that why haven't they dropped the show for this like you would think i know it's not bandai but like a maybe cheap, cheap that's what it is they're these, these kids are meant to be cheap my brother yeah they, but they can't justify the price of a show yeah I push mean, sales I would, if i knew uh, like a backstory about this girl i would probably pick this up because the girl nah, does look good there, 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 nah, there was a, a, <laughs> there was nah, a uh, show about chibi girls model kits came out maybe they made three, a four years ago. frame arms girl show they made a frame arms yeah, girl I show. yeah. Um, yeah. i didn't get more than one season though yeah because yeah. it only got more than only got barely more than one view it was cd and me for half a minute <laughs> 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 I think I watched the first four or five episodes. That's why I was yeah. watching every show that came out per season. Though. That's because it's animal. Oh, speaking of that, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. There's a great segue coming up. We have some mechanical bust 135th scale P gotcha premium gotcha mon 135th scale RX 78 2 bust. That is crazy. Are these coming? You can win that. Yeah, the shit in the back is cold. Dog. This is the size of the of my Sanaju. Granted, mm-hmm. the the one third at the one thirty fifth RX head is, is wouldn't be but so big, but even still, that's crazy. It looks like a fighters. transformer. The one over of, here, in the very back, yeah, it's all the hatches are open. No, not the one in the back. The one that's at the bottom, the other uh, opposite oh, side. Yeah. Of it. it looks Does almost like human. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! The muscles over the mouth. Does the inner frame? That's dope. That be that is nuts. I like the I like the core fighter too with all the the mm-hmm. spars. Mm-hmm. Sick. Then we got the unicorn premium gachapon mechanical bust master grade. Um, GBX GBK twentieth I mean, gun demonstrate. You were saying he's going there looking for this because this already came out. Oh, okay, it's already it, came. Okay, yeah. Then we have okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So that's where he went, gumpling there. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Looking for it. Oh, boy, what's this called? Dude, do you know how much this is? Uh, hundred bucks. hundred dollars for a robot Damashi Jim Cannon. I'll pick it up. For hundred Bandai got a lot. Yeah, I got a lot of weapons. For a hundred dollars, R- RX could use these. You don't think the RX could? You can't put the that I mean, gun in the RX. I mean, yeah, granted, it's a hundred dollar. It is a. It would be a hundred dollar weapon pack. I, I know you're 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 becoming me now, but spending even more money. <laughs> Literally getting the uh, kit for the weapons. <laughs> you, you, and and Coop didn't say anything about taking pictures with it. He first thing he said was, "Yeah, the weapons." Yeah, the weapons. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> y'all know y'all know the GM to me is just a general mech, man. You go. This could be you if you told me lose the shield. It shit's in Robotech or Macross. You know, it's, 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 it's just you Literally. know the standard issue one, it's the one that mech warrior. Transform. Right. Literally, yeah. if the arms are straight. They're mech warriors. Anything that has a robot, this shit yeah. could have been in this. Like god damn. <laughs> right. Like you take the head off of this thing. It's like, damn. You know, replaceable this anything. Is the, this is the Pat trainer Weber, suit when you and mobile worker Macross, you know. That shit's working in the garage at <laughs> any gun. Jiffy Lou. It's Jiffy Lou <laughs> mascot. <laughs> Goo fly flying type. Flying test type. Jabber yeah, Bay version. We, yeah, we went over this last time. Oh, we did? Yeah. Not this one? Not yep. the pictures. We have seen it. Oh no, the pictures. Oh, got you. <laughs> we didn't see all the pictures it's, for it. This is tough though. I like the effects that comes with for sure. Yeah, with the effects. See, Ben, just, ben just do this. Just do this. Put this in your kids. Put these out. They they Crazy. released they released, they released effect, effect parts though. Didn't yeah, they release, like, effect, but effect not effect like not right? like the not like this though. Put this like, in the like, bazooka. Yeah. Like, let yeah. me get the but let me get the bazooka. Let me get the, the wave effects that really look like wave. It's yeah. wild how they painted that too, because they painted the shell, but over the shell is the effect of the air rolling over it. So I don't know how they made the paint inside of the right. gel and then and then paint it outside of it. That's sick. Love it. I might pick this up. Ooh. We'll see. Yeah, no, I love my robot spirit figures. Hey, and the goop light type is a fan favorite. No, well, it's true too. Then we got the immortal justice box for the metal robots. When's the U.S. release of movies? Because the, the seas ain't caught it yet, man. Yeah, I'm ready. Man. yeah they're keeping that stuff tight lipped. <laughs> you can't find uh, anywhere. The Gachamon G3 Gundam. You get it in clear. Whatever. This is what. Come on. 
<laughs> uh, more yeah. pictures of the uh, uh, Gian from this movie. See, movie yep. with the effect. Again, I think that was a lazy effect. They could at least put a little bit of white trail to make it look like spinning, but I guess it's something. It's a I'm high not... grade, brother. It's a high grade, man. They ain't got to do that. The fact they that they that even did that, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're going to leave it up right. to you, man. They're going <coughs> to leave it up to you. They're going to be like, how much yeah, you right. paying for this? $12? Yeah, we ain't paying Minister. Brother. That shit looking real hard. I might have to grab it. Probably. The Galgu Minister. And it's big. That's this looks big pretty dope. Right. See, I can rock with it. Yeah, See, this is the one. This is the one. Yeah, I can rock. This is not thermal emissions. It's not. What is this? No, nah, this is Kokai Sinki. This is what we've been saying is the, the best one. Yeah, yeah. This is, <laughs> this is what me and CD were trying to put you on, bro. The one you kept telling us to... all the hard points. <laughs> that's yeah. it right here. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. From a couple it. episodes yeah. back. Yeah. Well, you said all the hard <clears> points, <throat> and you said this looks like Lego or something. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's the it. one from the like the OVA. Prequel. Series, yeah. yeah, I would cop this, and that's like a custom. Guess, it doesn't yeah, look like it had all those hard parts. What is it covered up? Whoop. Yeah, because it has the armor pieces, he just filled them, so, yeah. and it comes with the armor pieces like that. <coughs> uh, I think you buy oh, all those are extra weapons, too. All yeah. the, all the weapons I have, I, I have those extra pack because I have the can magazine it, that came with the extra stuff for it. Can it you get if I bought this and it, can I build it out of the box to make it look just like how it looks on this picture? No, you need two other boxes. Yeah. Because like, do you see the shields on the shoulders? I, think, I don't know if it comes with both. But I think I might just come with one. And then the guns yeah. on the farm, I don't know if it comes with two. I might just come with That's one. That's the best part. They, they they lost me at that point. Damn. That's why it's almost a, a web build. It, this this coming from the man who's going to buy a $100 metal build kit for weapons. It wasn't metal build. It was a regular, <laughs> it's a regular one, man. It's just a regular no, it, one. It, 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 was a it was a yeah, robot Yeah, but it, it, it's not a metal. It's just like the... um. RX one I got. No. Does it have metal parts in it? Mm -mm. It's no, all plastic. Just, plastic. It's all plastic? Yeah. And it's a hundred dollars? Yeah. Cooper, please don't buy that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so we have G Gundam or Mobile Suit Fighter G, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Calls it that shit. I don't know. No That'd be wild. That. Nobody G calls Gundam. It. Yeah. yeah, come on now. <laughs> I think I heard them. one person say it's like I like Mobile Suit Fighter G. Like you mean G? I've never even heard anyone call it Mobile Fighter. No. The other way around, right? I, I mean, and... like if you put that in the shit in the sentence. I, was, I stopped listening because I've never heard of it. Here goes some artwork from it. So apparently they're making a new G Gundam anime or, or some type of thing about it, but I don't think it's a whole anime. I think it might just be like OVA, like three episodes. Mm -hmm. Prequel, like build divers, yeah, and, and probably no. This apparently they said some information is supposed to be a sequel, but I don't know what really, <sighs> there, what more is there. So to what, tell. what kid are, yeah. are you telling us to get out of this? What? Because I don't know. They're gonna they're gonna probably do the P Bandai uh, hyper All gold gold <laughs> yeah, G uh, R God Gundam. They haven't done it yet. They haven't done you. it yet. They haven't done a gold RG. Nope, not yet. Oh wow! I thought they were doing. They got that in his Saving pocket. Saving that shit for us. <laughs> yeah. Yep, they got that in his pocket. The same pocket that got the Ultron in it right now. The same pocket that got like the Toggies two and three high grades. The same pocket that is probably holding the Ares and the Taurus high grades from Gundam Wing. That gold when, when's Gundam. Gundam's uh, Gundam Wing's next big anniversary because we're not seeing any of those for like five years. Probably. Next year, yeah. I think. I want to say maybe next year. I think I, G Gundam came out before Gundam Wing. Yeah, G Gundam came out before. It, Gundam it, Wing. it Yeah, I, I I legit thought that the they're probably just gonna do the Gundam Seed thing and say that God Gundam Spec Two, and it's just gonna be <laughs> slightly bluer <A> recolor. <laughs> yeah, just recolor. Mm, to make it P Bandai. Maybe. Maybe I mean it's coming Maybe down a, a pipe grade, eventually. Real grade master. Uh, master Gundam for sure. I think the real great. I think the articulation <laughs> in the God Gundam and the the love of the show could give new armor points. <coughs> Excuse me. What real great doesn't have a uh, like its counterpart? Mm. Y'all know one. Let's see. Every real great has this, uh, at least the antagonist suit. Strike Gundam doesn't have its counterpart, which is the Providence, right? Ares and the and and the Providence is the Freedom's antagonist suit. Mm. 
but the Aries doesn't have a. <laughs> but, but it has its, have, uh, like, has the justice though. It's the yeah, justice. It does have the justice, which is just I'm like assuming, the full burning, like the GPO mm-hmm. one. That's yeah, the GPO one in yeah, there's the GPO one. There is yeah, a GPO one and a GPO full that's burner, it. so you can buy two GPOs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but they don't have a GPO two. They don't have the no. the, the, the Salomon or the Salas. I wonder. I can think of. I wonder if it's because it's like the the second C kit or the second C suit. Like everything else, the second one is probably like the antagonist suit, right? Gundam Wing, people like Wing Gundam, and then, then you got people that like the Targies, right? Um, same for Sanad Sazabi and New Gundam. I wonder mm. if the second mobile suit in the series, if it's not the villain, you're not getting that, you're not getting a real great for it. Now, was the one you said for Seed is, is it more popular than the Justice? um no no the 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 providence uh is arguably like it looks cool but everybody loves the freedom and loves the justice infinitely more yeah, the yeah. i personally don't like the province's design it looks like a the turtle. Is like, yeah the big ass backpack yeah it, it, the backpack's too big now um uh, the metal build of it looks sick as fuck but i mean it's oh excuse me build. sorry sick as hell but um yeah it's the metal build so i mean like i think that in G Gundam, the Master Gundam is probably second, second, like most iconic suit from that series. <coughs> Outside of the Dragon Gundam. Gundam, but they had a Noble Gundam noble. as well. Noble, oh, but I put the Noble, the Dragon, and um, uh, what's the what's, what's my man? Um, my man with the mask, the mask, the mask. The mask. Uh, oh, a uh, German, uh, the German the one, German dude, uh, Spiegel, right? Yeah, Spiegel's in there. Yeah. His suit, Spike Spiegel. No, Dragon, you know, you, you're getting a high grade for. Yeah, you're gonna get a high grade for that for sure. For sure, they're gonna them. finish that. Good. No, no. What I'm saying, they're gonna finish the top, the the at least the what five five right? Isn't there mm-hmm. five yeah. in G Gundam? Yeah. Have they finished the wing? RG? They, they did, did the wing, wing zero, and real grade targies in all three forms. They haven't done heavy arms, death side, sand rock, mm-hmm. any of those in high grade. I mean, in real grades. Oh man, nope. that's weird. maybe they're saving that for next year. Ah, uh, outside of Epion, and again, that's the antagonist suit in a highly popular kit. I mean, suit and kit. I mean, they won kit of the year last year, so great deal. Um, yeah, vote too. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, crazy. I can see the master. I can see the master going to be in the next real grade. Especially with the articulation, the paired right. up with the real good, easy. with the God Gundam, and they could give you the horse as the P Bandai effect piece. Yep. Right? I'll cop it. Just don't make Master the Master Gundam P P uh, P Bandai. I'll cop the Master Gundam. Mm, yeah, don't make it P Bandai. That that yeah. would be kind of scummy. The head on the Master <laughs> Gundam is is terrible. The head design on the Master Gundam is terrible. You don't like the no. <laughs> This the, on the Master Gunner was terrible. I don't think that's, give say that, that's crazy. I didn't even think of that. But yes, you got that Master Gundam shit going on. All right. Uh, Th- there's another right. version of the Master Gundam too. Huh. Who knows? But yeah. But like they can't do the Devil Gundam. That's that'll be on some a Devil Gundam. Real great. Will will it would be huge? But how? Probably not as big as like the Zeon. Mm-hmm. Real great Zeon. Cause I'm assuming the real gray sure. Zeon is probably equal or close to equal in size. When I was it, just looking at the numbers, like, oh, it's 18 meters tall. It, you, it would depend on how much of the of the double Gundam they would make. Because if they make like the full kit double Gundam, like the full out one in the last episode, it's like as big as like a table. No, oh, no, but, with just a standard whatever that high grade one is, and just made that into real grade. Yeah, that that would probably be best, but what is the the it's the dark gundam in america right they don't call it devil in america is it dark gundam yeah i could be wrong. Right it's way. been a long time since i since i watched G Gundam. it's maybe been a I, minute maybe i'll give it a watch since this is coming out and i have been kind of in the mood to watch older animes like i watched um i'm trying to watch um dragon ball 
Dragon Ball was wild. The first one? Yeah. Mm. Dragon Ball was wild. Oolong told Boma to turn me into some panties and put me on. <laughs> Dude, that's wild. She was, like, she, was like, she, she was like, turn into a, a motorcycle so we don't have to walk. He was like, well, I, I can turn into these. Then he turned straight into some panties. He was like, well, and only one of us has to walk. Yeah, I said, yo, that is wild, dog. Yeah. <laughs> that boy starving, Jack. Hey. Did you say that? He shot his shot. Yeah. Then she said, then he turned into no. a fish. Then he turned into a fish. This is the same episode. He was like, oh, I'm getting out of here. He turned into a fish, jumped into some water. Goku went down in the water and find him, right? He was like, Boma, I can't find him. He was like, well, you have to think like any, any you know, somebody just like him, right? So let me go. I know how to get him back here. Throw the perfect bait. She threw her panties in the water as bait on a fishing rod. And he bit them shits and brought them right back in. That, like, that was on, I don't know if that was on Toonami. <laughs> but that's Woo! wild. They might but have nah, censored some parts. They had to. Me what you Trimble's got up here? D was a very different show. <laughs> different. Very different. <laughs> yeah. this what is you got a, up here, Austin? So this oh, is no. the Providence. This is the metal build of it. And the so if you actually look at it, this as an RG would be ridiculous. It would be enormous, especially that. Mm, I think the effect. backpack would be. I don't know how enormous it would be. When we think of like enormous real grades, that, right? That's the freedom. That's a master grade freedom. If yeah, if they kept it in scale with the show, that's it, not the master be... grade freedom. This has to be the metal build freedom. Is that the metal? Yeah. That has to be the metal build. I mean, oh, but it is the metal build freedom. Yep. Okay, so how big you think of a kit wise? Do you think that will be compared to how big is the the, the, full, the full unicorn, full armor unicorn? Is it taller than the wing kits? How oh, oh, one? See. Oh, uh, the. That's a good question. Part. In terms By the of way, uh, the road grades. For, for those watching this uh, Instagram channel, uh, Road um, Rotary Red, Rotary Red. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it, it's late, everybody. Uh, Rotary Red on Instagram. Um, yeah, check out his stuff. He's actually really good at uh, posing. He actually even goes through tutorials. Oh, I'm sorry, I cut you off. Continue. No, that's good. This is a nice page, to be honest with you. Oh damn! Come on, Austin. Hmm? This, is a, this is somebody you should have been thrown in the chat. Well, I mean, uh, 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 what, what was what was the what was the old segment we did? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but this guy has like twelve thousand followers. We try to do yeah. That, that's why I never. That's why I never really. All right. It's tough. It's very dope though. But no, I th I, th I would think that the um, because it should it should be like two heads taller than the freedom. So, how big is this young compared to? It's not going to be bigger than a, a fucking RG full battle, full armor unicorn. A Providence no. RG wouldn't it be. It'll be as tall. That? It'll be as tall as that, as like a the RG new Gundam, which is a taller. Than, I, I mean, but, uh, if they kept it in size with the show, it's like it'd, it's it, that much bigger than that. It could. I don't know. You're right. I no, he doesn't have to. Okay. You don't. You don't. I was just, you going down the rabbit hole now, Austin? I was. I was looking. I, because I thought of this channel, the dude had the Providence as well. Because I just happened to be running into Providences everywhere. Because I think the. Uh... Oh, he did have it. Okay. Um. No. No. Never mind. That's a different kit. That's a Master Grade Freedom. I know. Because uh, I think once the movie came out, everyone was building Providences now and pretending like they're good kits. I mean, sorry. Reframe. Reframe. Uh, pretending like it's a good design. I mean. Uh, I mean. I mean. We're we're making it because they really like it. <laughs> Next up, we have a I'm key visual <laughs> on the Mobile Suit Gundam 45th anniversary. So the 45th anniversary is coming out. This will be a sick wall print. Eclipse Day, too. On Eclipse Day. This looks dope. Damn. Speaking of God Gundam, here comes a new challenger, Mecha Core Industry Sherrod. Another third party kit coming out. I don't know of Jeez. I don't know of what base what what it what is this? Like is this a astray? You got a lot of points like with plus eighteen back. on the box. It's just tough. Bro. That is uh Whoa, the scale? Base too. Yeah, one one hundred. 
But is, is it Dude. is it surprising for a third party? Bro, those wings. Yeah. Those wings look sick. Yeah, it is. Looks like every other third party. That, uh, if you would have told me this was in a line with the glory and the one you got, the isn't the glory in that same line? The one in, in the one you have on your bookshelf? The Genesis? Yeah. Is that all in the same? The, it isn't might it be. The judge, it, looks like, the, it looks like they share the legs, the same legs. I think they actually share probably some common area like parts. But dude, look at the sculpting on this. This looks amazing. It looks good. It looks good. And the inner wow wow is that wow that's compared to whole wow and look at the layering with the cast as well god dang that is it looks good it looks really good i to, i don't like the the look of it though like it looks i good, understand it looks a little gonna, too crazy yeah it looks yeah. like a lot going on it looks like yeah definitely if you want to paint this a lot of masking N not even that even just as a like action actually, actually physical physical object there's so much going on in the legs but nothing on the forearms and the shoulders and, and the shoulders and then so much going on in the uh, with the heat sinks on behind the wings like behind the shoulders and then not a lot going on the wings again so it gets really complicated the further down you go down um mm -hmm. i probably won't pick this up anyway because i i'm right with you i'm actually not a fan of the design overall but i do appreciate the complexity yeah there you go what about you city does it look good to you enough to pick up one day uh, no i mean it looks good but not enough for me to pick up yeah no, i'm straight we got the master grade rig z from shards counter attack we got an announcement for that side f another kit that i seriously want can't buy it because that's side f <laughs> Unlock those cards, Austin. You can find it somewhere. Oh, this isn't uh, out? No, not yet. At least not here in the States. This is going to come out eventually. We can all the side F stuff. Yeah, it's, well, sometimes, they re Bandai. sometimes they release side F stuff. Sometimes they don't. What's the side F stuff that we haven't got? <laughs> Austin's just not trying to talk about it so he doesn't buy it. Yeah, I would have to. I'll give you the list. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. <laughs> Uh, recycle box. Recycle hmm? That's that's great. Hey, you know what? Actually, just... it would be nice to have this like at a hobby town. Hobby you town. Do, how many oh, runners yeah. we throw away? That we just need to toss. It would be double. We could just put whole Gundams in there, like Gundams you don't want anymore that you built. Like, oh, this is trash. Like Andy from Toy Story. I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> just toss them straight in the box. <laughs> shoot back at me. <laughs> that's what it comes to life the, i got something for his ass i'm gonna scare the living shit out of his ass fires a b magnum right by your head it's gonna go off my damn pinky what the hell is that ultraman i'm an ultraman damn how, how mask how rider carmen rider mask rider kiva. kiva kiva this looks dope a lot of going on look at that yeah, it does look dope. This we're almost done. This almost port, done. this right here. Isn't it like a short and stocky dude that's supposed to be in this suit? <laughs> like this guy's probably like five one, like five <laughs> two hundred. That's, like he looks like he's ready to go. That's a fullback, huh? <laughs> he, uh, he, what's what's the Deion Sanders? Yeah, like this guy. <laughs> looks, he looks like he's about five foot, fucking. 205 stocky motherfucker boy. Damn. No neck I mean, that's I mean it looks like he's like he has calls, to be the, the linebackers used to way back in the day. Right. Damn. Right. The bull necks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's ready to fight, Jack. He yeah. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's a fighter for sure. So you got like a little fucking yeah. He reminds that me looks... of a spawn. Spawn or something. Spawn, like yeah, yeah. Spawn's like spawn. He looks like a dude you don't want to run into. Little Spawn. Little Spawn. Little Spawn. There you go. L-I-L Spawn. Little Spawn. You want to take me on? Ha ha. And with this Saturday, Kaiju number eight finally is here. And here is the model kit for it. The box art looks amazing, man. Y'all know how amped I am for this show. Y'all know how amped I am for this show. I'm amped for you. Yeah, man, it, I'm 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 excited for it too. I like I love the manga. So, but you know what? This premieres on Twitter as well, right? 
Yeah. As long as the first episode doesn't premiere on Twitter. I think the first. So you're going to watch this up or you're going to wait? I'm going to wait. I'm waiting. I'm waiting wait for Dub? Like, yeah, I'm waiting for Dub. I hope it's simulcast, but I'm waiting for Dub for sure. I, think, I feel like they haven't been simulcasting anything as only, right? I've... Because they're, I need to know been... people's names. I need to know people's names, man. Um, me butchering names when I'm reading. I can't remember. I don't think anything I've seen. Like Soul Eleven was the biggest of last chunk of anime to come out, and that didn't. And Farron didn't get a simulcast, and neither did. Um, Freeman got simul- simulcast. It did. Yeah, you got a dub. I, like was, I know, but like yeah, was, simulcast, I mean, like same time. Oh no, nothing was. Everything was a day or two or an episode behind so, for so dubbing. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? So even Maybe better. Shonen, next Saturday. Put some money into next. It. Yeah. Next Saturday, I can, even if I have to wait until next Saturday, right? So I can sit back and watch this. This is going to be here's the kid in general. I'm not worried about the kit because I already have the SH Figures pre ordered. Man, you too? I might mess around and get the kit, man. I might mess around and get this kit. Hey, hey, Why remember we were just, saying to get it. Yeah, I might mess around and get this kit, man. Oh, it goes to a separate face. That's dope. That's a whole different head scope. I yeah. might... Get this with the, <sighs> with the number one manga. Seal it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. <sighs> this looks amazing. Oh, three man. different head scopes. That's crazy. Wow. There are three different head scopes. Jesus. <clears throat> yep, I can't wait for that one, man. I tell you, Kaju number eight for sure. I can't wait for that one. And then you got this guy, another general Matt. Wide shoulders. Looks like the guy from. Like it, it looks like you have to knock this guy off on. On um. Whoa. Yeah, no pause. It looks like <laughs> something you're gonna have to like. Jesus. The jug, the juggernaut suit on. Titanfall. It, it legitimately looks like an NPC from Armor Core. Like right. It makes you just go mm-hmm. around and kill. It, it literally, this looks like a general mech from Armor Core. Bandai's kind of wrong for dropping this one's kind of plain Jane and the next one. Like, oh, uh, did you upload the right. one with the panel lines? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Dude, I see a lot of potential, though, in that back. Because on the back, you can put a ton of cannons and guns and rails and stuff like that on it. That'd be pretty dope. The first time we've seen it, we've seen him with a whole bunch of shit in his back. And he's himself. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I like that. But yeah, why the fuck do they do that shit? Give us one yeah, picture with yeah. no. <laughs> what? Lazy. Old Shugun of Ichiban Kuji. 800 yen. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the raffle. Yeah, yeah this is the raffle for the for the anniversary. You can get these mm. kind of neon clear color kit stuff. But um, I don't. I think only um a few people were really excited for this. I mean, I I couldn't find too many people online. No, I think was it a uh, Gumplagoon? He's really excited because it's the God Gundam, and uh, you know him and G Gundam. And then I think there was nobody else that was really talking about this, unless I missed him. It looks cool. The Wing Zero. I mean, the Wing Gundam looks cool. But uh, yeah, the Wing Gundam, Wing Zero. Yeah, Wing Zero. Partial, hollow, see through. And it has like the yeah, the, it's partial. And then the neon, I like that. I like that look. If it glows, it's tough too. That would look, look dope. So mm-hmm. it took the yellow, took everything that's supposed to be yellow, and made it neon green, or highlighted green. Same for. Ne- that one has some like clear, clear too. I kind of like that. Yeah, and, and on his feet, and on his knees too. Yeah, and it's an RG, so you see all the uh, all the inner frame. Like on the shoulders here too, and this one looks good. And then the aerial full mechanic. Eh. Yeah, nah, it looks like a looks like a McDonald's toy. Damn. Mm-hmm. And more of the little spawn here. Yeah, little spawn. And then in. Greymon? Digimon? <laughs> Bro. That's it for what we have for what's new. Not even this, I know it's TV. Why is his chin in his crotch, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Man. Why do you always look so grumpy? Because my chin is in my crotch. <laughs> right. Literally. You're a grouch. No, no shit. I'm living a trash can. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
I'm smelling my belly button constantly. Con <laughs> oh. <laughs> Send that shit Man, back. I tell you, it was. <clears throat> That's what Bandai needed to do. Stop doing shit like that. This what we right. see. Stop doing shit like that. It, it must be from all the leftover plastic, man. That's what it is. So whatever's left over, they just smelt it down. They said, well, we got this, boss. <laughs> it's like, good, go, cool. send it out. <laughs> yeah, bro, stop doing that shit. Man, I was just kind of talking about what we was kind of discussed earlier with um, Gundam Wing and G Gundam. And I was, the other day was Operation Meteor Day. I took out some Gundam Wing and watched some Gundam Wing on the, from the Blu-ray. And man, I, don't, I realized... There's certain things you just need. I think collecting Blu-rays and having the Gundam series. I wonder what the next Gundam series is Blu-ray wise, man. I wouldn't mind just kind of having they need to drop the Hathaways um Blu-ray set. Still book or something? A still book. Um I mean they already got they have IBO? somewhat they did something different and that bandai shout out to y'all for that right like they did the what was the kit for ibo that was a p bandai kit that came out with the blu-ray set did anybody know there was a there was a a model kit that i think iron blooded orphans collectors edition kit it came, I remember uh, Marvin told me, he was like, yeah, they came out with one uh, and it, it came with a kit. And it came with a kit. I'm trying to see what a kit it was. Iron um, Blood Orphans. Cool do. Yeah. Fish like that. I mean, I, I don't know. Give it a year or two. We'll get um, what's your Mercury. I wish for Mercury. Ah, oh, that's terrible. <coughs> Austin, how you feel about that show? Still, is that still one of the ones for you? Which for Mercury? Yeah. You know what's crazy? I was actually just thinking about it um, not too long ago. Um, I was looking up uh, clips of it, and um, you know what? It's uh, it hasn't fallen out. It hasn't fallen out of the top ten yet. I mean, top five. Sorry, it hasn't fallen out of the top five. <laughs> but still, still enjoyable. I'm still liking it. Yeah. I'm going back through our old episodes and finding some of the some shit that we said some of our worst takes so, I just so you can have some ammo <laughs> just wanted to <laughs> it. no it's um, still the top five. i said i said Soleta was a bottom five protagonist mm -hmm. uh, is that was, uh, is that still two. ring true for you yeah 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 um kuba Kuba being a flat earth guy <laughs> oh yeah that was a while ago but he, but he also disproved. Uh, but but he also came back and was like, "Look, I looked it up. That joint is, obviously is earth stop flat." I don't know, man. Every oh, day some new shit just come out. Oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. We have I don't know. Here. I don't know, man. What you really don't know? What do you mean? What do you mean? You don't being know a top about five Gundam series. <laughs> mm -hmm. We really don't know what's behind them Antarctic walls, but that's for sure. <laughs> um, Granddaddy walls. Origins being the best one forty fourth kit. Regardless of RGs or not, still rings true. Uh, the new yeah. RG, actually, that would be the test. You gotta get the new RG, put it next to the Origins Granddaddy, see where it stands. So, stay tuned to, for more of this. I'm, I'm gonna be going back and watching so you can hear. Yeah, Sheesh, man, I don't know, man. I might have to, I might have to walk that one back now. I don't know how good <laughs> the, I don't know how good the Origin Granddaddy stands up to the Moon Gundam. The Moon Gundam is, is a really good fucking high grade. It's expensive. Right here. More expensive. 37? Mm hmm. 37? Granddaddy's, Granddaddy's expensive too, actually. Now. They 30. Got... Yeah. So, and yeah. You get a lot more, though. Ooh. So. You do get a lot more kit. Maybe. You, you can Maybe. build the Granddaddy in two different ways. I think the Moon Gun, we can only build one, right? Yeah, you can only do one, but you could do, you know, the funnels Backpack and different on, things. Yeah. Um, Moon Gun comes with a stand, too, doesn't it? And sure? it comes with a stand. With a stand yeah. And it's a bigger kit. But but it needs to stand if you're going to use the, the backpack. Yeah, that's true, too. It better come with a stand. Yeah, it would have to. Uh, See? It's not more, that's not really a plus. That's more of a necessity. No PC parts in a, a Moon Gundam, though, which is wild to me. True. I, I don't, that's almost like a baby full mechanic. True. If that. I don't know if the area, when you, did it, the area have um, 
No PC parts. Yeah, the, yeah, the Witch Mercury's had no PC parts. Speaking no, of which, no. the Witch from Mercury sales. Apparently, the Gunpla sold incredibly well in Japan. Like the of numbers were going it, out. It, it sold it, crazy. I'm dog. I'm a, I'm gonna be convinced with any new Gundam series. I could bet you IBO kit sold crazy when it came out. They oversaturate the market, mm -hmm. and, and then <laughs> on top of it too, like people that build Gunpla, we don't typically. Uh, there's more people that will buy it just because it's gumpla than it, than there are people that be like, nah, I'll I'll pass. They could do it, yeah. They could do it less in like starving the market for any new gumpla whatsoever, and then they say, hey, here's a new show. Here's all the new gumpla stuff that we dropped. Don't you guys want to? Oh, look at that. They love it. And it's more of like we've been dying out here, starving. But I have eat anything been, you give yeah, us. Yeah, it's like how many demi trainers do we really need? <laughs> man, you like, you really don't like the demi trainer, man. That's for any of the um. Well, for which not which for my career, IBO. I, I feel like that about IBO. The last forty IBO kids. Well, they start when, once you start doing it from the show, like, and they're different suits. Like you could really like someone. Like you could really like the flower rose. And, like my favorite suit is the flower rose. To where you like that's a completely different kit. Demi trainer, choo choo trainer, demi trainer Gardenson. You know, like like there's just so many different type of variations of a suit from wish for mercury where it, you know even the demi trainer has its it has its own umbrella but that that's the same for any general purpose mech i mean the gm literally has <laughs> what the gm spartan the gm sniper the gm command the gm space type which GM is just Gar the gm Tire. command with a backpack yeah the gm yeah, that, and, yeah i guess then, you're right if you look at it from that to, angle and then you go to Ace After Colony. You have the Leo, the Leo Space Type, the Leo Ground Type, the Leo with the Bazooka. That's technically yeah, a Space but, Type. But those, I wonder how much <laughs> of those go into the sale of the, of a kit. Like a Space Type is pre Bandai, right? Like I feel like there's been what one, two Demi Trainers has been pre Bandai. Just three yeah, Demi two. Trainers, yeah, but yeah, the GM, have... but geez, does the GM even have a regular one they sell anymore? I think almost all of their kits are B Bandai now. Yeah, outside of the Origins ones. <laughs> outside of the Origins one. The Power wow. Gym is P Bandai, which still shocks me. I don't know why. Speaking of P Bandai, let's just pull up P Bandai. Let's pull up P Bandai. <laughs> I'm always keeping an eye on what sells in Japan, though. Uh... The... Oh, oh, they didn't drop anything, really. Uh, except yeah. for the effect parts. And you're not picking this up, right, Austin? No, not yet. Gotta wait. Gotta wait. Gotta wait. Way? Yep, gotta wait. <laughs> TR6 Hazen. You, you, you make it, what's crazy though, Austin, is you're saying you have to wait, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. you also said you about to cop a new Masquerade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, AOZs, the AOZs are an event, brother. They're an event. <laughs> When I get a new one in, it's gotta it's gotta be just right. The, the master grades are like any other girl walking down the street. The AOZ is like my partner. I like. Well, you have until July. July 20, you have until July second. I know so, that's pretty to time. make that this, to make nah, that. Nah, he, he, you gotta be saving for Vulcan to go down there. Yeah, that's sure. Awesome. He's just sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Yeah, but I mean, it's right there. It's only $45, so... And then plus shipping, what is that? That's 55 yeah. That's not bad. And I have the Titans paint, too, so... But actually, no, I don't have the Titans paint. I need it or a new Titans paint. I'm gonna say, don't let it be that Titans paint that's for Leo. No, oh, Lejo. God, no. I, it's Mr. Hobby, my friend. The Aqueous. Staying with is that. This, or, this is from Origins, right? So this is gonna be mm -hmm. the Origins frame. Yeah, I can see about mm -hmm. the, the knees. The knees on this guy. We're and looking the fact at they can the move his torso. Height. Yep. Y'all haven't jumped on this for the blade? Not a fan. CD did. CD did. Yeah. Not a fan. There's only one scene I actually really like it in. It's in the city scene where the, the commander is looking down at the Zaku that's hurt. And the way that Zaku's looking down with the from the top up view looks sick. But that's the only one. I, I can't all the rest reach of the other man. two. <laughs> but I got all you the, reach all the other two. Yeah. <laughs> you got the whole, just, you had the whole group? There's five, yeah, but there's five. like a double one. But I have four yeah. of them. Hmm. I feel like you can go one twice. But this is the commander oh. one. Oh, uh, uh, so on that F90, the U type right there on um, two, two rows up and all the way to the left. There you go. Yep. 
Uh, that we made a mistake. The new one? Yeah, we made a mistake. Or I made a mistake. I said that you just get the kit, you have to buy another F90. This comes with another F90. So oh, you don't have now? to buy. Yeah, you don't have to buy another F90. This comes with a this. separate F90. I like this. I'm not gonna lie to you. Essentially, with the with the flight pack, so that way you you can build it straight out. You don't have to buy one. I like this. That's let's why it's, that's why it was so expensive. July. Um, July. $60. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got these new paydays, y'all. The 10th and the mm -hmm. 25th. Mm -hmm. Odd to me. I'm not used to. Oh it. yeah. That's I'm, a, I'm like getting paid in the middle of a week, bro, on a Wednesday. And that's a stretch too. Friday. That's a stretch from the 25th because some days have the 31 days in it. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, my bank gave me money early, months. like two weeks ago. I'm supposed to get paid on Monday. Gave the money on Saturday. I'm like, it's it's 18 days. And I still ain't got a paycheck. <laughs> I get paid till Wednesday. Them, them semi-monthly ones. Oh. It, it, it they hurt. They, did, they yeah. damn sure hurt. I do kind of want this. I do kind of want this. I'm not going to lie. What are these? I do want your Marisol, yeah, okay. Austin, the one you got, too. I've been looking at some pictures of this shit. I kind of like Marisol? Yeah. The one you got. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Unicorn. The unicorn one. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait I to like build that. The weapon. The weapon, yeah, the long weapon that it doubles as a beam, beam, uh, st uh staff. That's, that's very unique. I see feet on there. The Johnny Ren. Okay, P Bandai. You got some shit in stock. They they got some stuff up. I mean, it's just um. I mean, they even got the Titans uh Haruru uh Type Two kit in there. This but, one's ready to go today. If you want it, actually, that's been ready to go since last year. <laughs> <laughs> when it first dropped, <laughs> yeah, it's one of the first ones that dropped. Nobody bought it. Uh, Dumpling, he turned into uh, fucking. Oh, that's right. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> yeah, that, that that'll ship to you tomorrow. Yeah, you get you get that <laughs> notification before you get off the computer, Jack. <laughs> yeah, good. Ready to put the label on that, that shit. That by Arlent though, it it's looking more and more appealing to me though. Which one? Which one? Uh, back on, the, go back to the page you were at. It was the one right next to the. Uh, right, right next ready to the shit. One, the one, that, yeah. the one that's nope, not a Gundam. Nope. Yeah, right there. That's the by Arlen. Oh, uh, from yeah. is that from Unicorn too? No, it's the uh, it's the separate version from the novel version of Unicorn. Or yeah, yeah. So it's the second custom type. Uh, 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 oh, the desert. Oh. Isn't there a Unicorn with this right? Uh, the Destiny. Desi. That's the red. You. That's the unicorn with the banshee shield. Mm. Y'all seen that RG? It's the red, it's the red box. It's the red box red RG box. unicorn. Mm. It's the. It's a standard release. <clears throat> it's the. Um, it's it's just the unicorn <laughs> with the banshee shield. Mm. Is it high grade? Speaking of that, did you see one in the comments tell us why the box says Phoenix and not Phoenix? Yeah, because it was just called the Phoenix hunt. They called it in the yeah. movie the Phoenix Hunt. Called it the Phoenix I mean, Hunt, but they they called the suit for the Phoenix. Which is still oh yeah. yeah, it is from this series. So this is the series. I think it the fucking Banshee Shield looks it is the best. The like the Bro, Banshee Shield is crazy. What you say? It reminds me of the shield from Eureka Seven, and they stand on it. <laughs> I can see someone standing on that shit. Like surfboard? <laughs> yeah, that ass. But just Let's picture see. that shit under his feet and him holding down, holding on to it. That's what I see. I, I like the shield on the um on the uh was it the Stein? Mm-hmm. But it's uh it's a retro one where someone blended it with the Sazabi shield. So it's a Sazabi slash Stein shield. Looks sick. And what's crazy? This is a normal release kit. We just rarely see it. Just for sitting at Hobby Town. Years. Yeah, I was gonna say Hobby Town forever. I'm kind of mad. Yes. <laughs> mad about that. what? Because I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I pump fake, and I enjoyed a real great unicorn building it. Um, it's probably. No, I was about to say it's the unicorn line. No, Gundam Wing, Gundam Wing probably is my most have the most love. Is my unicorn line? It's which is kind of crazy now that I think about it. 
Um, Cause I got, I'm trying to think like I have at least a PG in a unicorn line. I have all the unicorns in RG mode. I've built the, all the unicorns in a master grade. Um, unicorn wise, so I built the animated Banshee. Only one I haven't built was the Verka. I built the MGX and I built the Phoenix. And I have the real grades. Only thing I haven't bought is the high grade unicorns. I think uh, Origins is probably my biggest line since I've been back to building. But like before COVID, I was going through my older kits and I probably had like 20 seed high grades. The older ones. Sheesh. In the 100, so Damn. that would be a big ass seed kit. Yeah. All the ones that look like dogs that transform and shit. I had like three of those. The cool. Yeah, that shit was tough. I had like all the original Buster. I had the original Duel. Uh, dual. Had some astrays, like I had all of them shits. Damn. Terrible. What do you yeah, think they... is your is yours? Just seed Austin? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't stop buying their master grades. Apparently, so. <laughs> What's the second one you think? Regular UC. Mm-hmm. Yeah, regular UC. That. And that's early to mid too, right? You mm-hmm. don't have a lot of like yeah. later UC. I don't, I don't got no X gun. Outside of the Messer, you didn't get the Cassi or the Penelope, did you? I have the Cassi. I, I painted the Cassi too. I uh, painted it in the traditional Gundam colors. Um, I was not a fan of it. I, th- I thought it was great for like the first couple days, but then as I got to manipulate it and mess around with it, um, same thing with the Messer. They're just too goddamn chunky. And uh, Gustav Carl too. Just, yeah, the Gustav. Oh yeah, I had the Gustav Carl, and that I that's one of my most hated kits. I remember so, that review, yeah. Yeah. Was it so, the Gucci call from Hathaway or was it from Unicorn? It, it's from Hathaway. The Gustav Carl, yeah, it's from Hathaway. And, and remember, that was the age when kits were getting, I mean, Max were getting effing huge. Like, yeah. Ridiculous. I know it's in Hathaway, but I don't, I can't remember it on the. It, it's in Unicorn, too. Yeah, it's, 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 in, it's in Unicorn, too. Yeah. It's uh, when they attack, uh, when Bright infiltrates the Alaska base or Torrington base, or whatever mm-hmm. it was, there's a Gustav Carl on guard that gets knocked. Gustav Carl is just they use them for protectors. I was in the um mm-hmm. narrative, won't it? Didn't yep. the Gustav Carl get knocked when they snatched the old girl from the limo? Mm-hmm. I wish Gustav they had that in, from the manga because it was a Delta versus the DJ because old uh, Yona. I had a DJ. Was it a DJ? Mm-hmm. This was DJ. Yeah, and he they was like, "Yo, send for backup." And the daggone Delta was all the way up in the sky. They couldn't. The radar couldn't pick it up. It was like, "Yo, I didn't know there was a Gundam in the area." It was all the way up <laughs> in the atmosphere. We didn't know. And it fought. That was a good fight. If y'all can get a chance to read that in the manga, that was a good fight. Um, but yeah, I think I might go back and watch Unicorn Man. One thing I was OVA doing the other day was the whole series. OVA, OVA. Because the one thing I was doing the other day, I was just going through my collection, and, and again, just being transparent, right? Like I'm truthful. I'm not, especially back in the day, I'm not good at putting fucking movies back in the right case. Uh, uh, I, the other day, I was like a couple of months back. I say uh, maybe close to a year, like a little bit before we started like getting ready to move. I remember I opened up my unicorn. That thing said missing disc one. I was like, Lord Jesus, it's in one of these daggone Blu ray boxes buried deep in here. And I was like, but it was out of sight, out of mind. I closed it up and I told myself, oh, yeah, I have it. Hoping it's in one of these cases. Like, it's in one of these cases until I'm proving myself wrong. I found it the other day. It was in the Gundam Wing collection two case i was like all right thank god so at least it was another it gundam case yeah yeah like i already didn't have fun. like some fucking cartoon in there it's for shit. <laughs> right it wasn't in like <laughs> rocco's modern life courage the cowardly dog <laughs> yeah man oh man because i started um i watched war the pocket the other day man that was a good show that's a that's a good i know we talk about that one all the time man but that's a that's a Sad good series it. man Sad in it, but I, and at this Sad point, right? At this point, they don't even have to do anything new type anymore, huh? Like, are, are the best series the ones that don't even talk about new type for real? 
I don't know. G Savior, they don't talk about new types at all. Matter of fact, G Savior is in an area where new types don't exist. Really. Well, they, they new types and exist. And is G Isn't isn't G Savior terrible though? Yeah, yeah. G Savior is absolute trash. <laughs> that makes sense, man. Yeah, okay. but I mean, eighth and match team, Thunderbolts, when, right? When it's uh, more grounded, more realistic, like I could believe, like if I was a fucking pilot, like with no new special abilities, I could get down like this. Yeah. But do you think that's more of an American thing? Because we tend to try and ground things, and then until that's why they do so well. Over here. I don't that know. God, Godzilla, we tried to do grounded like three times in a row, and now we have what King Kong literally pimp slapping a smug monster with a train, and everybody loves that more than the original than the other two reboots. Highest, highest grossing. Yeah, I like Godzilla. Yeah, I like all of them. The King of Monsters. Do you mean the I, Monster Restaurant? No, no, no. I, I, per, I personally, I actually per, like the old 1950s to 60s and 70s version. I have those DVDs, but um, but the new ones that came out when they run in it in costumes. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, those were fantastic. No. Fantastic. Come those on, fantastic. <laughs> when he's in Bro, the those... John Cena, F you. <laughs> I, God, yeah, dude, but... dude. Until you see Space Godzilla come down and the awe and might that he created like created just coming down like just i have arrived i have come and you look at the godzilla's like all right it's on let's do this and you're just like dang it's 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 some intense shit especially king Ghidorah, king Ghidorah, and rodan rodan was my favorite Damn, is that yeah. the butterfly no no no, no that's my pterodactyl that's yeah. the pterodactyl looking one yeah, rodan. rodan yeah rodan was dope the big ass dude in this that's fucking wwe monster verse Essentially, yeah, it was. Must, if you ever do get a chance, too. if you ever do get a chance, you should check it out. It's it's what is legit good. What is Seed's new type? Um, the oh Jesus. Okay. Uh, do you have a uh, like five minutes? What All are right. they called? In? So coordinators, integrators, coordinators, coordinators. So yeah, co coordinators. <laughs> coordinators are genetically augmented humans uh, that are designed to pretty much be the perfect humans that you want them to be. They're faster, stronger, have better uh, intelligence uh, than some seed. Uh, some of them have something called the seed bearing factor, which allows them to enter an enhanced mode that allows them to have even faster capabilities and able able to like tap into a type of state of being where they're so advanced and so wow. quick and so new, fast that they new uh, like, got the transcend juice. human <laughs> beings. Yeah. And uh, Kira is the ultimate Kira coordinator. He was designed as the, essentially like the oh, best one yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, yada. Um, <laughs> I don't um, Gali is his twin sister, and she's also has a seed bear factor. At the end of the show, apparently you found out everyone has a seed factor, but there is a new type. There is two new types in the show. Uh, Rala Crusay and Lu Mula Flaga are actual new types, mm -hmm. um, but it's never touched on in the show. Like it, this shows that they have the, the exact same link that Amuro Ray and Char had, because in the show, Amuro Ray is Mula Flaga. And Char is Rallo Crusade, but the main character is Kira and Atherin and all the stuff that goes on with different characters. And it was the seed was originally meant to be a 2000 because it was entering the new era. It was 2000s. It was the new Gundam refresh update of the original Gundam story. That's why it has fucking Galgoogs and fucking that's why it has Zaku's. Look, yep. That's why it has Galgoogs. That, that's in Destiny though. In Destiny, you have yeah. Galgoo, Zaku's, and the first one you just have Jins, and then you have their own original designs. Which, in my opinion, I actually think those are better. Um, Destiny has some nice stuff, but yeah. Oh, that went over my head. <laughs> That's what, you gotta watch. You gotta watch Seed, man. Yeah, I know. I do. I do. Just as a Gundam, I feel like you can't be on a Gundam podcast that hasn't really watched. I want to try it though, man. I'm on episode ten. Yeah. Sure. We should all get 10? together and watch. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. the G self one with Gooster. <clears throat> watch party. G self. Okay, if if yeah. you told me there was an OVA of C, I'll watch there it. There is. I think I have Let's the DVD. Watch the movies. It Let's watch yeah, there's movies. G self. Yeah. Yeah, they have C movies, movies too. One, two, and three. I would prefer no, the movies are fine. I, I would say the show is a little bit easier. G self? The G self is from Gusta. G Reco? Oh, Reco was in G. The one that's done by the same animation that did Eureka Seven. Oh, you gotta watch yeah. it so we can talk about it. It's because everyone yeah. just seems to talk shit about it. I like it. I'll give it. Hey, a, I'll give it a whirl. Man. It has a cool scene. He has the photon torpedoes, and he literally erases people from existence. It's like one of the darkest yeah. weapons Tomoro ever made. And it, so, is that? We'll see. It said the G self is most the strongest suit when it has like the backpack. Oh the yeah, G yeah. The G self and the Turn A are the two strongest suits in the Gundam universe. 
Mm. The turn A has a literal black hole powering it. <laughs> and the G self is just a bunch of particles and ions. Well, damn. Runs Maybe we'll give it a watch. Let us know in the comments. Y'all comment below. What movie or show y'all want us to discuss? Maybe we'll do that. We haven't done that in a while, like a breakdown of a show. Um, if it's a newer one, an older one, or I don't know, man. An anime, shit. Well, an anime? Maybe we can watch. Uh, let's, we can watch uh, Kaiju Number Eight together and discuss it weekly or some shit. Oh yes, I'll be down for it. <laughs> there's you a know, lot of there's maybe I'll see these playlists. I see these playlists we could get, you know. Oh, uh, Coop, Coop will have eight. a guest guest appearance. Yeah, we might if we get the Kaiju number eight in dub the first week. I don't <laughs> hope so. Man. We get a God, Lee, don't play with me. And what Funimation is uh, f- closed, f- closed doors now. Yep. Um, everything is on Crunchyroll. I try to click, I try to watch the stream. I clicked on today, forgot all about it. I said. This item is no longer de- uh, available. Do- would you like to delete? I said, "Damn, yeah, sure, <laughs> get it off. I don't need it anymore." You know what? That that's also brings up a good topic about lost media because there's like 190 plus shows that are just gone, just disappeared, and people can't seem to find them because there were no DVD releases or the DVD releases were like really hard to get and only in Japan. Some of them were on Betamax. Didn't so. Funimation just combine with Crunchyroll? Because my Crunchyroll no. is different now. Like it has they, my they, Funimation queue. They did combine, but not everything got pulled over. There are some shows that are just yeah. lost. Damn. I want to see the list. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Damn, that sucks. Yeah. That could be somebody's favorite show. Exactly. <laughs> hey, man. Every, every 30 seconds, there's a new piece of lost media that's just gone from you existence. See, Best Buy doesn't even sell like physical media anymore. They don't sell DVDs. Don't sell yeah, it's, it's getting real skimped at my Best Buy. Like FYE, I don't even yeah. look yeah. into that shit. Oh, we got Bro. one FYE left in like the area, and, every, and they know it too, so they got their prices hyped. Their mm. prices are like Mine's forty at the, at the five dollars. Mall, at the clearance mall. That's it. Damn. For like a like, if you try to go in there and find like a, it's gonna be. I think I saw a movie in there. Um, Dragon Ball. It was a Gundam. It was um. What blu-ray was it for was it it was one of them um i think shards counterattack for 45 dollars so they trying to get their money i don't blame them i don't blame them right. but that's it people let us know i mean we i would love to do it just tell us to watch an anime nothing too crazy don't you know, bring that one piece that's not gonna happen <laughs> um, <laughs> not gonna <laughs> you, we yeah. just want to tell you to go to this part of the episode please refer back to uh hour <laughs> 48 one hour and 48 minutes of this episode please we're not watching one piece right like so but I'll, I'll, I'll be down. There's no long running episodes, please. Something. Assure is, uh, King of Assurance is almost done for me. Um, solo leveling. We could do a solo leveling episode. Damn, the, the English voice actor got death threats because they were expecting him not to do the Arise scene. Like, I went back and watched it, dub, and his voice acting. Top tier. Did you see the one well, he was going to put out? It was like th- that scene where he. Where, where he fought the dude in the um, cave, uh-huh. the oh. dude in the cave, and he would they uh-huh. they, they, they compare both voices of the Asian of the dub versus sub voice. Crunchyroll put that out. That is a, that's I'm not gonna crazy. spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it for people. I gotta watch it. So the monologue. Good. Well, he was talking his ass up, but oh yeah, yeah, that episode, that episode yeah, Ooh. that's the one I was like, yeah, this is the, he, this he was getting is, death threats because they're like. He was even like, you know, I'm not gonna say arise. I'm gonna say wakey wakey. Like he was like, like I'm, I'm not about to do. Why all can't this. he say arise? That's like such an epic part in the manhwa. Everyone like has a picture in the head, and they don't want him to like ruin it. But he says it like he does. He does his thing. So. Okay. Well, I, I gotta finish that. King of the Shura is almost over for me. I'm gonna move over to Baki Seed. I'm gonna make myself a little Dragon Ball. And then um I wanted it was you a, a, you in the cave now, Coop. Right, right. It's, it's getting there. I can still see the light a little bit. It's not as dark for y'all. Like y'all are all the way in there, kind of like those fish dark. at the bottom of the water. 
Right, like y'all got the ones with the light go woo, woo. <laughs> like that's what y'all like. Hey, we them like, ugly ass like... fish at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> the one that she doesn't get see. <laughs> For an angler fish, yeah, yeah. there it is, angler. <laughs> woo, like wow, man, that's hypnotizing. And then you know that's um, puff. Oh, uh, what is it, puffer yeah. fish, something like that? Like yeah. that's. I'm just the you know the regular regular casual tilapia. He's in he's in the tide pool. That's what he told me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let y'all guys down there at the bottom. Hey, figure as far as I'm, hey, hey, CD, I don't, see, that... I don't think he can handle the pressure. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, hey, I might. You ever saw the episode of um, SpongeBob? What is it called? Rock Bottom. Mm-hmm. He fell off the cliff and he's all the way I at the bottom. Don't yeah. understand <laughs> your accent. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's who y'all are. Have y'all seen that <laughs> episode of yes. Reincarnated with? The <laughs> all over the place. Like, yeah, I, mean, I don't even know what they just said. Uh, damn. I mean, shit. I just seen a, a strip of Deadpool, and he was talking about. Have you ever seen um, JJK to to one of the villains? And he's like, "What?" And he goes like this, which is a, one of the guys oh, yeah. calling like the demon. And he oh, literally yeah. comes and eats that shit. And I'm like, "Oh shit." Yeah, Deadpool. Deadpool in the movie apparently is supposed to have a cameo with One Piece or, or Chainsaw Man. It's supposed to be like a Chainsaw Man reference in the new Deadpool movie. Yep. So Coop, you gotta watch. You gotta watch your shows. Your Marvel stuff's about to get mixed, man, with the anime stuff, bro. Yeah, you gotta hurry up. I mean, every time I, I'm on ESPN, I see like an Instagram post that's anime something. I'm like, bro, this was this was another thing three, three years ago. I was I was shit. having yeah. to watch anime behind the door and the, dra- and the Shonen was though. Uh, Shonen's been like Dragon Ball close Z. to ten years. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z for sure. Like <gasps> the Kamehameha. Yeah walking around football players walking around with like dragon ball shirts and stuff like that i was watching some light british comedy shows that were on back in like 2006 2005 and one of the guys on the panel was wearing a naruto shirt well there you go it's like dang well let us know in the comments below what y'all want us to get into don't forget we'll try to check it out nothing too long nothing too crazy Make sure y'all go check out VulcanHobby.com. Use code UNDERGATE10 to get 10% off your order. Right at checkout, Vulcan got a lot of great things going on, especially what he has going on August 17th, something like that. August we'll post 17th. it more. His uh, convention, uh, audio type competition. That's the word I'm looking for. Competition. His competition down there in um, Alabama. So shout out to Vulcan Hobby. And of course, use yeah. SMS Paints CD. I'm going to say over too. Vallejo. Over Vallejo. Or not. <laughs> over you, Vallejo. You, you can use anything now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Sam. Use SMS especially because you get a discount. You get 10% off your order directly from them. Use code Chloe's Dad 10. Austin is now coming. Oh, that sounds crazy. Austin is now Whoa. using the SMS Paints. Austin has now. arrived. Whoa! Confusing. <laughs> that in here. <laughs> and don't forget, use code Coop Ten on Gun Primer. Shop directly with Gun Primer. Get ten percent off your items. They have some dope stuff, and I might be having something in the works with them. So make sure y'all follow Coop's page now. So, hint, hint. Rich That's it. Calling. I mean, make sure you following and check out Gun Primer. They make some awesome tools. Hint, hint. <laughs> Jesus. Can't be any more direct with y'all. <laughs> and that's it. Until next time, people, be kind, be loving, be appreciative. Like my man Austin down there. We appreciate Austin's <laughs> knowledge and his wealth into the game. Hell yeah. That's why he, that's why we got mother. him up here, man. That's why we got him up here, man. I know we talk about I know y'all people ask me when is Austin being terminated. How about never? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's talks. Wait, who are you talking to? <laughs> right, pizza. I need names. <laughs> Any names? We see y'all in 168 hours. Hopefully. Till next Hopefully time. Hopefully, all three of us. Hint, hint. <laughs> right. <laughs>